Most annoying habit. I got loads of these. People who breathe through their nose when they've got a cold and they've got a little snot flap. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is bad. That's bad. Clicking open and closed. How can you not hear that? People next door can hear that thing. <laughs> yeah. People who yeah. laugh at texts and then don't tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh who was that? Good man. Yeah. <laughs> and then people right. who, when you're in a bit of a bad mood, keep asking you what's wrong. There's nothing wrong. Seriously, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong. I'm just in a bad mood. What's wrong? It's you now. <laughs> just get out of my face. <laughs> I find it very difficult to see the serious side of any story in which someone gets tasered. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the ability to taser... If you knew you could taser people and you're supposed to give a warning, you wouldn't give a proper warning, would you? <laughs> if you do not desist, I will. <laughs> <laughs> if you say what? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> John Steen, you ought to go first. What's the most annoying thing about modern life? Uh... It's hard for me to be specific, cos I pretty much hate everything. <laughs> and I think I would have hated everything whatever era I was in. Wow. Apart from cardigans. <laughs> love a cardigan. Yeah. Who doesn't love a cardigan? You guys. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't regret... own a cardigan. <laughs> you don't own a cardigan? My name's got loads. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take her number. <laughs> Top thing British people lie about. I think most people lie about any sentence that starts, I know a lovely place. Like when you go for dinner or to a pub and they go, oh, I know a great little place. And it's miles away and it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> How was that your anecdote? I know a great place and it stinks and the food's crap. So now I hate the place and you for liking it. <laughs> I do drive a car, mate. I drive a polo, 1.2. It's blue. <laughs> yeah, you've got a ride take as that. Well. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I drive a uh, Ford Fiesta, it's Spanish for party. completely left out. <laughs> Do you drive? I've, I've never passed my driving test. Oh. Oh. I took it once and failed it so appallingly badly, I said, I'm never, ever going to drive again and I haven't. I respect you for that. I think if you fail your test three times, you should be banned for at least ten years. Uh. <laughs> People think they have a right to drive and they're like, well, I'll get there in the end. Well, you're clearly <laughs> at this. <laughs> to be told to stop now. Like, I failed six times, but then I passed on the seventh. Well, you're probably still <laughs> shit. Example, we, we're going to call you uh, Elliot or example? Call me my, by my real name, just for this show. OK, example. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I watched X Factor this week, and it was very exciting, cos Cecil was off sick, so Nadia had to step in. <laughs> Neville was in the bottom two, cos Phyllis said his song choice was all wrong. <laughs> anyway, he got saved and Humphrey's gone out. <laughs> and I might have got the names wrong, but frankly, who gives a shit? Because <laughs> <laughs> they were all, they're all rubbish, though. They're so... The, the, the Misha girls are right. Sammy, who went out, she said, oh, I'm still going to sing for the rest of my life. I bet you are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, John, what do, what do you think? Most people think children today are given too much praise. What do you think? I'm with Louise. I don't really know what to think about what's happened in the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, if you praise someone, then they'll think that that's what they should carry on doing. Whereas if you don't praise them, they'll want to do more. So I'm all for saying to kids, that is <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. I, f I feel out of place here because I've got a kid and I'm a loving father. Do you, do you praise your kid? All the time. I How mean, old is it? Oh, he's a year and a half. He hasn't got a clue what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one time when you can slag it off and it's just fun because it can't understand. So you go, oh, you sh** everything, aren't you? <laughs> I think, um, recently I took him swimming and a, a kid that was only about five splashed him and I... He was only five, but I lost my temper and went, you <laughs> uh, <laughs> Surely everyone's talking about the Liberal Democrat conference. Try and stop me. <laughs> Yay! Birmingham for a week with Lib Dems? Come on! They've really been rumbled now, haven't they? Like, last year they were the cool party, and now you look at them and they all just look a bit weird. Like, any Liberal Democrat, like Sar Sarah Tether and Danny Alexander, they just look like, if you ask them if they wanted a drink, they'd say, oh, I don't like drink, I just never like the taste. <laughs> oh, sod off. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> bloody... <laughs> Bloody crocodile dandy on the plane over here. <laughs> Bloody racist, then, I think. I would go as far as to say you should stop using any other voice. 
unfortunately, your shed's been broken into. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually a dream, is it? <laughs> That gives you a terrifying glimpse into Joe's life, there. He's gone. My dream of my shed not being broken into. Yeah, no. Joe's dream is to have an unbroken into shed. shed four yeah. times. Yeah. Four yeah. times. Yeah. Really? Breaks your heart. <laughs> I have to keep me spade in the hallway. I imagine that for a man with your facial appearance, having a spade in the hallway doesn't frighten guests at all. <laughs> Most useful thing your parents teach you? Cooking, cleaning, sewing. That's what I learned from my dad. <laughs> my mum taught me how to make jokes based on stereotypical perceptions of gender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is good, though, isn't it? Okay, Johnston. What's the other most important moment in life? People do babies, don't they? <laughs> you make it sound like litter. <laughs> I'm just going to do all the things I do now, but not get the b taken out of me for them. Right. I'm going to tuck things in, I'm going to pull my trousers up, I'm going to buy slippers. I bought a pair of slippers last week, and, you know, at my age, you have to make an ironic... <laughs> just... Uh, wacky, just, you know, it's just a joke, really. Just, I want to wear slippers in my house. <laughs> really soft on the inside, and it, uh, sliding into a slipper. <laughs> You mean a sliding into a slipper noise? Ah. <laughs> that should be a lady. What are you putting in the slipper? If you've got... <laughs> if you've got the right slipper, you don't need a woman. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'll tell you about my bugbear with the musics, right, that they do. Stop calling it the musics, because... <laughs> <laughs> you're even making the unhit music. people feel uncomfortable. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Enjoy your musics, do all that. But don't... don't screw with grammar as well, like rock n roll. <laughs> it was the first time it was accepted, like, well, we can't say and. We can't say rock and. So now it's rock and... and now it's spread to fish and the chips. <laughs> There's a reason it's not Matthew, Mark, Luke, N John, because... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with saying rock and roll just to make yourself sound cooler, just cos rock sounds cool, but I'm not having it. <laughs> My mum taught me that there's only one lake in the Lake District. Right wow. Now. Your mum sounds like a bundle of love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which lake it is. Bassenthwaite. It's Bassenthwaite Lake. Yeah. What about, about Windermere? Windermere? We're actually brothers. Windermere's a mere. We're brothers. We, we share a mother. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mere? A mere is, it's not a lake, but it's a different it's a type of water. It's a mere. It's a different type of water. A smaller version of a sea with no salt in it. It's a lake, mate. <laughs> Where's your mum? Get here now. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor up. She's watching this. Yeah. I apologise for what they've said about you, and I enjoy my lake fact, and I use it at parties. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've been to the, um... Uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, you haven't got a star on the Walk of Fame, have you? The Pussycat Dolls haven't got a Walk of, no, we don't. Walk of Fame star. Because I, I walked along, sort of checking out all the names, and, like, Rin Tin Tin's got one, and Lassie, <laughs> and Godzilla. <laughs> like, who are they going to get next? The Lurpak bloke with the trombone. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it seems like anyone can have a, a, a star on the Walk of Fame. The problem with Hollywood is it's too cool and it just makes your real life look sh Like, at once in my life, I would like to be able to do a speech like he does in Gladiator where he turns around and does all that. But you can't. Member of the AA, owner of a <laughs> napping microwave, and I will have my pudding. John, what do you lie about? Everything, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I lie about people's names. Like, if, if the first thing you had to do when you saw someone was say their name, people who've known me for years would find out that, actually, I don't really care who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone really knows anyone's name. Do you know what? I'll call everyone, yeah? If I don't know someone's name, for some reason, I'll call them Ashley. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good, cos a lot of us have been just calling them mate or pal or... <laughs> oh, all right, fella. But for some reason... But Ashley's much better, because it's... Cos <laughs> if it is Ashley, it quids in. <laughs> Like the sort of thing that would be on a dispatches documentary. Yeah. <laughs> Followed by Ethel didn't want to be in a home. <laughs> <laughs> they have closed down that choir. <laughs> like at the moment, there's um, 
shirtless men standing outside shops, sort of intimidating me. It, it, it's an American thing, isn't it? Where Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, Abercrombie exactly. and Fitch. It's a bit like saying, look, you'll never look like this. Cover yourself up, mate. <laughs> John, do you, do you shop ever? No, I just have to wait until someone my size dies. <laughs> Best way to patronise someone? Is it to ask them if they know what patronise means? <laughs> I always find the words, hey guys, do the trick. <laughs> especially, especially on a note. Are you leaving a note out? Just wanna, hey guys. <laughs> Think it's best we wash our own mugs? After... <laughs> That is a note that you've written. Exactly, yeah. I don't know, I've written several times because people never learn. <laughs> I've tried physical violence and they move out. <laughs> you see them moving around with four little dots on their head, they've had what I call the fork lesson. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It suggests they're stupid. Talk slowly to them. Talk slowly is second. It is implies it... you know more than they do. I know more than you. <laughs> Um, no, it's much, it's much more on the nose right, rude. Okay. Go f yourself, eh, hole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will, uh, I will tell you. The best way to patronise someone is to say you wouldn't understand. Ah, OK. When you patronise someone, you talk down to them nicely, whereas condescension can be quite rude. You got that, f wits? <laughs> uh, deliberately boycott any product that they advertise by making something that doesn't talk talk. Because there's enough stress looking after people I care about without having to feel like I was rude to my breakfast. <laughs> you know, Hi, I'm full of friendly... You're a yoghurt. You are a yoghurt. <laughs> Don't talk to me. And then by the time you've said that, you've already lost. <laughs> Another guy in a cardigan shouting at a yoghurt in your kitchen. <laughs> Okay. John Steen, what do you think the nation should be talking about this week? The Eurozone bailout. The Eurozone bailout has been in the news a lot. Yeah, I've been trying to sort of simplify it in my head, and the way I've worked it out is the cold countries are bailing out the hot countries. That's basically <laughs> it. Isn't That's exactly it. I've <laughs> <laughs> not made that point before. I feel sorry for Greece now. There must be a Greek finance minister whose job now must just... He's just He's given got flippers. up. He's flippers. Sure. <laughs> He's just adding up. It'd be like you, when a, a relationship is clearly going to end and you know you're going to get dumped, so you just spend all your time doing things to prepare for being on your own. Like, if you said to the Greek finance minister, what's your sort of average day now? Just go, well, I have a tub of haagen for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but you spend the rest of the morning watching YouTube videos of cats and dogs sleeping on each other. <laughs> Send an email at lunchtime, is it fixed? No. And then just cry and sleep. I just, I just think about that nobody but you ever prepares for being alone. <laughs> Yeah. I've been preparing for it my whole damn life. <laughs> Has anyone ever ruled to you, Stacey? I can't imagine that. Um, there was this, this one person who was just... <laughs> oh, no, oh, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> but there was one, just one random girl come up to him and went, I've heard you're not very nice, huh? And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Shoot me down. Spit on my kids, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Someone comes up to you and says, I've heard you're not very nice. That's just your chance to go, no, I'm not. Go f*** yourself. <laughs> I think eating. I think my gran was a big eater, just never store and not eating. You know, they love listing who's dead. Oh, that's their best thing oh, ever, Oh, that's yeah. like their favourite thing. All excited that Janet's dead and they've outlasted Janet. <laughs> people, people you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Elsie? You no. know her mum? Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. OK. My yeah, nan... Not Elsie. My nan's called Elsie. No, Elsie's so just... all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they found you first. <laughs> I've got some really terrible news. Ollie is your new granddad. <laughs> <laughs> like your first reaction when you found out I was your grandson was to give me a pervy wink. But... <laughs> yeah. Top way to boost your self-confidence. Go on. Uh, I had a joint birthday party with someone with less friends than me. <laughs> I've never felt so high in my life. John, how did you feel about that? <laughs> Most people think being a bad dancer is more embarrassing than being a bad at sport. True or false? What do you think? I think it's probably true. You think true. it's true? Okay. What do you think, John? Well, there's no such thing as dance, is there, really? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> One more time? It's just arrogant walking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you! I challenge you! You know what, Louis? I'll, I'll stick on some music, go over there, give him what for. Just <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
You said true. Uh, John, what do you think? True or false? Well, I'm going to have to say false because there's no such thing as dance. <laughs> He's learnt nothing this evening. <laughs> yeah. Well, whoopee shit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>